That Celtic team there might be grossly tired given the enormous effort in Boa Vista and the long journey back and playing this game when it's being played. But the team is there looking strong with Valheren Balde, Agat, Thompson, Sutton Hudson, and Lawson all looking eagerly forward uh, to a game that will, I think, decide the championship in the sense that Rangers really have to win this one. Celtic heading for another title again and that very tension at Ibrox as there always is when Celtic come to visit it has brought out the very best in Martin O'Neill's team over the years Rangers playing it cagely at the moment to Boer with that ball Kenigia, Kenigia with that little lob at goal and it's almost there the little Argentinian wonderful at his Forward runs like that, superb ball by De Boer, and he took it on the outside of the foot. Just a little misjudgment. Rangers with the pressure on at the moment, and Amoroso. There he is, coming up for that. Certainly finishing lower than some of his free kicks, which I suppose might be an achievement. Robert Douglas has looked very secure, but I think there's something wrong with him. Broto looks as if he might have to come on. Well, this is a bit of a, a blow to Celtic. They look very composed, very relaxed, despite the hazards of the trip. Not sure what Ali McLeish is uh, noting there, but certainly the substitution has got to take place. This was not in the script. Sanchez Brodo. On he comes. Nine minutes of the game gone. And the real test, not only for the goalkeeper, but for the entire Celtic side. He'll be put under pressure immediately, I think. There's a free kick. Ferguson to take, through the wall it goes, there's a bit of a mix-up there and swept away! Ronald De Boer, great effort there, coming off walls initially, and he hooked it through, but notice the green and white wall in front of him as he took that. Good defending by Celtic. I think there's going to be more frustration on that bench. Ferguson put that away. Here's Hartson. Hartson looking for that little opening. That must be away. No. That might have been a claim for a foul there, but uh, Larson just picked himself up, got on with the game. Rangers under pressure now. Celtic certainly have weathered that initial 15-minute storm. Thompson with it. There's a good-looking one. It's still there. Claims that there might have been a push or even for the corner kick. And the might of John Hartson trying to go in there to finish it off. Almost anything could have happened in that crowded box. 
They're icily cool. Henrik Larsson, despite the furore of an Ibrox crowd, retaining that uh, wonderful self-possession of his... And it's skewed off the post! It was almost there! And trying to finish it off as he rushed in there, Sutton at the back. Still the pressure on, and that's relieved. Rangers very lucky to survive that last attack. And what was a German goalkeeper playing at? Caught in several mines. And a slice of good luck for Rangers there. Still trying to play the ball out, but still being careless. Ferguson being caught out. Now here's Hartson. Nice move by Hampson and Shirley. A penalty kick. A blatant penalty. And no matter what is done there, there, the initial tackle with the inside foot, I think was illegal anyway, and then the body comes. And that check means an absolute certain penalty. Alan Thompson. Penalties are vital. He's done it and he makes it look so simple. Celtic, a one-up, 29 minutes of the first half gone. He has silenced the Ibrox end with the simplest of penalty kicks. And a team that looked as if they might suffer from exhaustion given the effort in the semi-final of the UEFA Cup in Portugal are now looking revived and refreshed. Of Sutton. Quantumman with that uh, perplexed look about him. Agat. Good play by Celtic. Larson took up that position very well. He's still in there. Just over. Well, Craig Moore, if his head hadn't got in the way, this would have been another spectacular Larson goal. Rangers could have been two behind. No wonder they're happy, no wonder they're celebrating. And there's a touch of, uh, how you might put it, Iberia about this. Anticipating a final down there in Spain. But still having to focus on this game, there's only one goal in it. And that's never enough in an old firm game. Not, not in any shape or form can anybody think the game has yet won but here's a gap he's trying to put it beyond any doubt there's hearts and he's done it Celtic two in front two minutes before half time and after the jubilation by the manager he tries to restrain himself but I suspect he feels the game is beyond their famous rivals the Welshmen with deadly accuracy it wasn't the easiest of chances. He had players by the side of him, the goalkeeper in front. And hoopla for the manager. The run by Agat has pace, paying off a very good ball. Sometimes his final ball is criticised. He'll try to push away. Well, uh, the referee coming across to have a look, see what actually happened there. He's going to talk to Hartson. There's Craig Moore going up. I don't think there was all that great contact. Rangers trying very hard in the second half, but finding it very difficult. The moves rather predictable. Better move on the wing there, and there's a goal by Ronald De Boer. He gets right in behind that, and he pulls Rangers back from the brink. At long last, their support is something to shout about, even though, for large segments of the game, something about played them, and beautifully headed in there by the Dutchman. No chance for the substitute goalkeeper. So another substitution, Stan Petrov, on he comes.
for the man who's caused a lot of destruction at Ibrooks, John Hartson, and they appreciate it. And now the strong running of Petrov in midfield will aid Celtic at this stage. They want to try and keep possession. The legs and the limbs and the, the minds even must be a little bit weary after all their travels and exertions in Portugal. But here's a chance, Larson, can he put it away? No. Good move again by Sutton, delaying his pass. Celtic towards the end of the game, beginning to command again. Terrible mess up there by Amoroso, appealed for a penalty, but the Italian gets away with it. On that far side, McCann can't get possession. Celtic cleverly keeping the ball, holding the ball. Time is of the essence now. Still 2-1 up. Beautiful movement, said Larson. Brilliantly saved. Wonderful move there. And where have they found the energy for this? They've put the strenuous game of Boa Vista behind them now. On the verge of another famous victory. A gap that time. Well directed. And there goes the final whistle, Celtic are still in with a chance of the championship, Rangers really had to win this to make sure and pull clear, they haven't done it, this is a magnificent victory for a team and a manager that suffered a lot, tremendous test of endurance and they've come through it with flying colours, the league race is still open, it still could be theirs. And the Celtic players realise that nobody fought harder than this man John Hartson, Neil Lennon, there was a lot of uh, complaints, justifiable complaints about Celtic having to play this game on the day that was chosen by the SPL, but they've come through it, and no wonder they're jubilant. They've got a final, a big final to look forward to as well in Seville. Yeah, we knew we had to come here and, and get a win to give us a chance to get back in the championship race, and I thought we played very well after the first 10 minutes, first half, they could have been one or two up but uh, we were lucky to miss the chances we went up and scored. The first Old Firm match of the season. And seven new faces. Berg, Henning Berg, will start the Old Firm match for the first time. Unlikely to be phased. He's been there and done it with Blackburn and Manchester United. Brazilian Emerson at the heart of midfield has settled very quickly to the task. Rangers fans thought they would miss Barry Ferguson. Certainly hasn't been missed so far. How will Liam Miller cope in this sort of atmosphere? He's answered every question that's been thrown at him so far. Timing is everything, and Rangers aren't happy at the recovery time they've been given after sweating it out in Athens on Wednesday. From touchdown to title showdown, little more than 48 hours. Mind you, Celtic were in a similar situation in April after playing their UEFA Cup semi-final against Boa Vista. They came here and won. A stumble from a gap. Sutton clears. Watched all the way by Craig Moore. In goes Henrik Larsson. John Hartson waiting. Thompson as well. It's Alan Thompson! Saved by Stefan Klaas. Thompson could have scored the old firm opening goal. It's a magnificent save from Stefan Klaas, but I tell you what, I love the police will not be happy with his captain, Craig Moore. Hartson's flick. Petrov, good strike. We've got a lot behind this. It's a decent shot, Rob. Again, the sea, Celtic haven't had too much of the ball, but whenever they go forward, they look dangerous. Are the lads are there. Petrov won the header. Off Neil Lennon. Miller stops it going behind. Kept in by Arvaladze. Kept in for Larson. 
That's great work from Mikel Arteta. Terrific anticipation and reading of the game, and strong enough to win it back from Larson. Kisnis really to Moles. Emerson! Deflected for a corner. That's a magnificent play from Rangers. From Arteta winning the ball to Emerson. Well, it would have been Alan Thompson to take the corner. He's off. Still in Petrov, delivery. John Hartson flung himself at it, failed to make contact. Chris Sutton plays it back in. Still in Petrov at the back post. Toe slipped at the crucial moment. And Michael Ball was able to play it clear. That was a real chance for Celtic. And Petrov kept his feet. Varga. Petrov on side. Hartson shot. Arteta's free kick. No marking on Peter Lovenkrantz. And it could have been the opening goal at the other end. Rangers are looking for a corner kick. There's a deflection of some kind. I'm not sure who it comes off. It's a good free kick from Arteta. Picks out Lovenkrantz. Celtic haven't lost the first Old Firm match of the season since Martin O'Neill took charge. 6-2, 2-0, and then last season 3-all. All square so far as Hartson links with Larson. John Hartson scores! 18 seconds of the second half gone. His 50th Celtic goal. And it couldn't have come in more dramatic circumstances. It's a good build-up from Celtic, straight down the middle, but I'm not too sure if John Harrison needs this one. It takes a slight def deflection on the way over, but he won't be too concerned. He comes off Kishnes I think it is. That's it. Stephen Claus going the wrong way. To the end of Kishnes Vili. Claus is caught going the wrong way, can't do anything about that. And Harrison delighted the balls in the back of the net. Claus foiled Thompson, and Hartson himself in the first half. Only 73 minutes gone, and Ibrox, Petrov's header, Larson lays it back to Hartson. Neil Lennon takes it away from him, now Petrov, turning away from Ball, good burst of pace from Petrov. It's spilled by Klaus, saved by Berg, as Larson tried to turn the ball into the Rangers' net. Ross plays it long, Sutton has it, that's terrific defending. Under pressure from both Moles and Austin Stat. Larson looking for Petrov. In goes Kiznishvili. It breaks to Henrik Larson. Petrov has the chance to make it too. Still has it, still in Petrov. As Klaus pushed him out wide. The yeah, got shot blocked. Good goalkeeping from Stefan Klaus as Stylian Petrov looked over a gilt-edged opportunity there. Liam Miller was setting himself for the shot as Arvaladze nipped the ball away from him. Powerful header from Chris Sutton. Hartson looked as if he was being pulled by Michael Ball. A good place from John Hartson. We're happy to, to make sure he gets the shot. Good header from Chris Sutton again. Look at the distance on it. Inside the 90th minute at Ibrox. Two to be added. So I'm just adding them up. Yep, that's three minutes to go. <laughs> oh, the arithmetic never fails me. Hitting Berg into the box again for Michael Ball. That came off the head of Varga and onto the top of the net. Magnus Hedman had come off his line and Stan Varga wasn't sure where that was heading. Hedman doesn't have a clue where this is going wrong, but now that is Stanislav Varga. They certainly got to break that time. It's a high ball in the middle. Rangers challenging again, just knocking it in there, hope they pick up something. Martin O'Neill cannot wait for that final whistle to blow. He knows how important this result might prove to be. Alec McLeish in the background there, arms folded, a look of resignation on his face, the Celtic fans ready for a party. It's almost over at Ibrox. Already Mike McCallie's had a look at his watch. 
Celtic have won the first goal from match of the season by a goal to nil. Celtic go top of the league. John Hodgson's goal proves decisive. His first of the season, his 50th for Celtic, and it came just 18 seconds into the second half. And you can see in the reaction of the manager and the players how much this means. It's been a tough week for both Celtic and Rangers in the Champions League. It's Celtic who come out on top. Chris Sutton producing a standout performance in central defence alongside Stan Varga. Celtic minus their regular back three of last season, Mialbi, Baldi and Valharan. Did it show? Certainly not. No, not really. Uh, I didn't know until half past 11 I was playing there, but uh, no, I mean, the main thing where well, we were disciplined and uh, we knew it was going to be a hard game, but I thought, as I said, discipline was good throughout and, uh, you know, we had chances as well and uh, Stefan Kloss played exceptionally well for them. But, you know, that's uh, it's good for Big John, it's a tremendous goal from him and uh, good that he's off the mark. Yeah, it's, it's important in terms that, uh, you know, we, we go top, but there's still a hell of a long way to go. Rangers are a good side, as they've, they've proved in Europe and uh, domestically. These are the teams. Firstly, Celtic, Didier Gatt returns after injury. Johan Mialbi is missing for the same reason. Rab Douglas gets the better of Magnus Hedman. He continues his first choice in goals. Liam Miller's on the bench. Lennon and Petrov in the middle of midfield with Chris Sutton just ahead of them behind the front two of Larson and Hartson. It's nearly four years since Rangers won at Celtic Park. It's nearly two and a half years since Celtic lost to anyone on their home patch. I like the handball. Stylian Petrov. In for Henrik Larsson. Came off the shoulder of Fernando Rickson. He was under a lot of pressure. It's good play from Henrik Larsson. Doesn't give this one up. Rickson's trying to let it go for the goal kick. In the 14th minute, Petrov's corner. Missed by Moore. Missed by Balde, but it must have taken a touch on its way. It's another corner. I think it just cut the back of Craig Moore that time in the way over. The Rangers captain Moore knows there's little margin for error now for his team between now and the end of the season with Celtic having that eight-point cushion. Thompson's corner, Baldi is there, it came off Rickson. And shot at Avaladze, stops it going behind for another corner. Again, it's a big threat from the corner kick. So many big targets in there, Michael Ball's got a big task today, he's got to match Bargain there. He's got to be giving away at least six inches. In from Alan Thompson, Baldi's header! What a save, Stefan Klaas. A miraculous stop by the Rangers keeper. It's a marvellous save. Varga goes away to the front post, leaving Craig Moore to Mark Bobo Baldi. Baldi wins the header. It's a great reaction save. It's close to the goalkeeper, but he's still got to get there. Got to move his hands. There's a lot of power in that ball. It's a first-class save. It was a bullet header. McNamara's cross. Away by Craig Moore. Back from Lennon. John Hartson gets turned, shooting chance, struck it well. It soared over the crossbar, but he's very likely to hit the target from here. He does that so well, back to, boat, uh, back to goal, holds the ball up, protects it well, it's a little turn to the side. All waiting for Thompson's delivery. Headed away by Moore, Arteta, his header behind Lovinkrantz, that's well won. And in turn, possession regained by Didier Gatt. Avalanza's pass falls short. Neil Lennon tried to fight it through for Hartson. Sutton to Larson. In from Henrik Larson. And the opening goal is Stylian Petrov's. Stefan Klaus got his hand to it. This time he couldn't keep it out. 
It rolled agonisingly along the goal line. It's 1-0 Celtic. Still ahead, Petrov simply hasn't picked up at the back post area. It's a good Harris, a magnificent touch from Stefan Kloss. He's very, very unlucky. The ball hitting both posts. It's not in until it's the second post. It's a great touch, Kloss, onto the post. It's not in at that point. It's right along the line. But that's when it crosses the line there. It's a marvellous error from Petrov. Alan McLeish's question will be who's picking him up. Short out of the lads, he's the nearest player there, but doesn't pick him up, doesn't realise Petrov's coming in behind. This time McNamara was snapping into the heels of Burke, but he's there for the layoff from Lovenkrantz. Chris Burke back in, Rob Douglas missed it. Gavin Ray has it. Avalanza to Ball. Ball versus Lennon. Now with Ray. Avalanza's cross comes off Petrov. Well won by Agat. Thompson with the free kick right into the danger area. Stan Varga is angry with himself because it got a pretty clear header on that and he steered it wide. It's another set piece and there are lots of bodies inside the box. That makes it more difficult. Varga with the free kick. Berg's header. Back it comes from Lennon. Rickson got the better of Larson. Challenge by Moore on McNamara, and there may be some unfinished business for Stuart Dougal after that. No, I think Stuart Dougal Robbie said right away that he got the ball. I don't think there'll be any problems at all. And I think Craig Moore did get the ball there. I think the fact that it was right in front of the Celtic fans may have, they may have tried to influence that one. Well, did he get the ball? Yep, contacting the ball there. Yeah. Jackie, I don't think there's any contact in Jackie. Jackie's just been wise, he's going over his leg. There's no contact made. And play on the break. Didier Gat on the move. Gets beyond ball. Off the line from Rickson. As Alan Thompson threatened to make it two. What a wonderful Celtic move. So close to goal number two. Great play from Didier Gat. Make a ball, can't touch on there. And Thompson's unlucky. It wasn't going in. Rickson, I think, may have cleared it if it had been going in. Alan Thompson, a great run from the left wing back position to get up support the, his fellow wing back. It's a little flick on it, just not enough on it to put it on target. Through from Lovenkrantz to Moles. What a rescue mission that was by Chris Sutton. How did he do that? That was a chance. Great defending from Chris Sutton. Well, I was talking about Alan Thompson and his claims to an England squad place, but what about Chris Sutton? And Celtic have it back with Hartson. Larson taken out off the ball and it's a yellow card for Craig Moore. Thompson's free kick and it's off the post from Larson. And a furious exchange between Kloss and Rickson. I'm not too sure if uh, Stefan Kloss saves this, but it's a good ball in from Alan Thompson. Larson getting to it first. That's a brilliant effort by Henrik Larson. He knows where the goal is. Thompson's corner. John Hartson trying to get there. Stan Varga does. It's 2 0 Celtic. 14 minutes into the second half. A major inquiry at the heart of the Rangers' defence. Again, it's from the set piece. The last is shot that hits the post, but from the resulting corner. They lose the first one. Bobo Baldi wins it. And Michael Ball standing with ball watching. Doesn't pick up Varga. Close tries to get there. Can't get there in time. And Varga knocks it in the net from two yards, but look at Michael Ball. Well, there were three or four Rangers players static inside the penalty box. That could be the goal that puts Celtic out of sight in this old firm fixture. And Stefan Kloss was absolutely furious. Avalanza to Burke. Curling effort from Chris Burke, and Rob Douglas watches it wide. He's unlucky, Chris Burke here. I'd maybe like to have seen him take on the full back ground the outside and see if he could get to the dead ball line. But I'd like to cut inside, try to curl it round Rab Douglas, but the big goalkeeper knows it's going wide. He's been immense in the heart of the Celtic defence. He's snuffing out any threat so far. Now comes Cross. A little bit of room for Michael Moles. He's tugged the shot wide. 
a glorious chance to get a goal back. He's unlucky, Michael Moles. Maybe the first mistake from Bobo Baldi. I think the ball just slips through his legs there. Giving Moles half a chance. He does everything right across the goalkeeper. But you've got to get it on target. You've got to make the goalkeeper work. He's very unfortunate. And had this gone in, suddenly hope comes alive again. Stylian Petrov wins a free kick. He was sandwiched by Arteta and Lovenkrantz. It's going to be a yellow card. And his afternoon, Peter Lovenkrantz just goes from bad to worse. He's had little impact in attack. Celtic set to threaten again with another set piece. Thompson in! And it's clawed off the line by Stefan Klaus. And that could have been an own goal, I reckon. I think it's actually offside, Rob. But Thompson's in, Stefan Klaus doesn't know it's offside. It's Chris Sutton, I think, it's a touch on it. It think. was Henning Berg, I think. Yeah, it's off the defence, off the yeah. top of Berg, it's Varga's offside. Certainly interfering with play. And it's another superb save, this, from Stefan Klaus. He certainly wasn't expecting it from Berg. Foul by Rickson on Thompson. He certainly caught Alan Thompson that time, a quiet word there from Stuart Dougal, no yellow card. Thompson does well again, nicks the ball across and facing the challenge. And Rickson catching them late. Balde strikes the free kick. Sutton now up alongside Larson. Has it back, has a free kick. Given against Lovenkrantz. I think the crowd are looking for a second yellow card for Lovenkrantz. Don't think it's going to happen, though. No. We see the challenge here, Petrov again involved. Lovenkrantz working back onto Sutton. Stefan Klaus beaten twice. Already, a and, he's, and he's played superbly. He's played well, you're right. A wonderful bit of shot this time from Thompson rather than the cross. Certainly much closer. Alan Thompson's effort! A sensational goal from Thompson. Rounds off Celtic's old firm win. He does it so well, his eighth goal of the season. And there's no doubt about it now, Celtic are going to move 11 points ahead of Rangers in the title race. It's a tremendous free kick, we've seen Thompson do this time and time again. It's over the wall, it's just under the crossbar. The goalkeeper's covering the other side, he's got to try and work across. But even Stefan Klaus, the best of form, can't get any, anywhere near that one. Wherever Martin O'Neill is, he's not surprised because Alan Thompson does it all the time. And in front of... Toward grip, the England assistant manager, his timing was pretty much immaculate, and I wonder if Alan Thompson will crop up in the next England squad list. Arteta to ball. Here's a chance for a shot at Avalanza. It's the wrong side of the crossbar for Rangers. Seconds after Thompson's went in off the underside, the Rangers striker's effort clips off the top of the bar. It just isn't going to be Rangers' day. Avalaza does everything right there. Bobo Baldi's across, trying to block the shot. It's a good run, he anticipates that Moles is going to do something. Just watch Avalaza's run. Moles just lets one, this one through his body. Avalaza's on to it, does everything right. Grim-faced, Alec McLeish and Andy Watson well beaten here. Can't really have too many complaints, Andy. No, they can't. Uh, if anything, it's a silly free kick. The last one, Thompson scores goals. A marvellous goal. Decent effort there from Avalaja again. But uh, you've got to look at Loving Kranz giving a free kick away unnecessarily on the edge of the box within, within striking range. But it's a good effort from Avalaja again. Support from midfield. Celtic have won the second all for a match of the season and they go 11 points ahead of Rangers at the top of the Bank of Scotland Premier League very conclusive in the end and that was that 
Rangers have now won only once in 12 Old Firm League games. And they fall so far behind Celtic in the league that it's difficult to see any way back for them. I think, uh, you know, we have to take a lot of credit from that. The whole team, you know, started from the first goal, started from a great uh, tackle from Neil, uh, Neil Lennon. And it just kind of went on from there, you know, we got in a bit of early and put him under a lot of pressure and it paid off and we got just rewards. A huge roar at Celtic Park in great anticipation as this Celtic side head for their fourth consecutive victory over their great rivals. Changes in both sides, of course. Valharan in the Celtic side, Ray in the Rangers team, and Henrik Larsson, who really has given great torment to Rangers and their supporters since he arrived in Scotland. And here's another man who's caused a, a great deal of panic in Celtic defences, Loban Kranz, with his pace and his great finishing. And there he is, Sven Goran Eriksson, with a lady. Hugh Dallas setting a game in process and hopefully not a light. And there was occasion for both, especially this young man there, Pearson, playing it only a second. Old firm game and he wins immediately a corner kick. Arteta very close to him. What an asset this is going to be for Celtic. Strong busting runs down the left hand side. Arteta. Arteta has been accused by his own supporters of not having conviction for a game of this sort. And that's something you certainly need. Varga pushing that away. Thompson in a little bit of a tangle, and there's Rickson and Thompson. Well, this is totally needless. You can see the way that Rickson went in there. I mean, Thompson, all he was doing was fielding the ball. And all you need here to cause an eruption is a, a hothead. Well, the referee, Hugh Dallas. Can be a very stern man when it comes to it. Here's what had happened. And Rickson, really rather foolish going in there. And Craig Moore tried to separate them. <laughs> Not exactly an impartial manner. You could almost have anticipated some kind of uh, strong play, but here we are. That's a running I'm talking about. It's Pearson away from Oteta. Wonderful run by Pearson Berg. Just getting in, still Pearson, and just cleared. De Boer getting that away of Veladze. He has no support, a very poor ball forward. And Celtic pounding forward towards 18-yard line. Looked like a free kick to me. Hugh Dallas says no. And McNamara puts that ball out of play. The play is going to be halted as Oteta takes a shoulder injury. He certainly went after Pearson, and uh, he goes down there, and as he goes down, he twists and falls. And that might be serious. Celtic still with the advantage, much more possession. Thompson taken away from there, Stephen Hughes. Stan Varga. Petrov doing well and Varga. Well, every now and again, this big central defender can come forward and unleash dynamic shots like this. Beautiful little one-two there. And he really does let fly, just off the side of the foot, though. He thought it was there. Celtic Choir in good boys. They have dominated this game so far. Still no scoring all the same. Rangers mostly on the defence and occasionally breaking away as Balde gives away a free kick there. And again, tempers are rising. Craig Moore making a complaint and Balde, I think, will be booked for this. 
So his name goes into the book alongside Rickson's. It always is a tough game, but it's got to be kept in balance. And that was a right thump. Lit up by Arteta. Celtic still full of running. Larson, beautiful little ball. A gap. Players just outside him and off the side of the foot. You could see he seemed to take his eye off the ball there, Thompson. Alan Thompson, who's been deadly this season, didn't fall neatly for him. And Arteta cannot carry on. You could see he was suffering. So De Boer about to come on. Almost a, a rueful look on his face there. And on comes De Boer. We hear he's not fully fit for this game, hence the reason he was on the bench to start off with. Given too easily away, and this is where Celtic are much more superior. The possession of the ball, use of it from defence. There's Larson, beautiful little ball inside. Can't get it through, Larson! On the follow-up, and that ball should have been pushed inside. Petrov was totally in the clear. Pearson obviously didn't see him. There's the ball pushed inside there. Look at Petrov. Nobody near him. I think this illustrates it even better. Again, another chance missed. And they might regret that. Here's a free kick. Thompson with it. It's a decent one. Look at that. Jumping again by Larson. Astonishing. Really does get up well, and Larson at the back again. Two in a row there. Look at this majestic jump. It's all in the timing. And Celtic couldn't exploit it, even though he was there for the return. Good work by Valharan, and has to be said. Free kick after free kick, raining down in this Rangers defence. And it's touched in again. They are just surviving. A gap. Brilliant possession, and nobody there for it. Thompson on the outside. Corner kick. Strong protest there from Frank De Boer, but a gap. Took that down beautifully. He's causing a lot of damage today. They couldn't finish it. And was Petrov with it! And from this angle, that looked in. Larson dominating in the penalty area once again. Not at all surprising. Just uh, a little bit too far outside the post. Might be slightly worried that the chance he's missed. Mahara. But you could see the way that Celtic have much more conviction at the moment, especially in midfield. They open it up, look at the pace there, and Bagat, he's away again. And that came old Ball, and Ball is having a terrible time against this man. Ball is being beaten by pace and timing, but it is still nothing each. Come the big man for the corner kick. Look at this. The two foreigners eyeing each other for this. Just taken away. Second bite of the cherry for this one and headed past by Balde. This is where Celtic have dominated Rangers so often in recent years. Their height in the air. And, of course, the constant threat of Larson. Got 
to Rangers. Albaladze hardly seen in this game, very anonymous figure. There's Ray, looking for a little touch to the side, De Boer! Notice how De Boer got up immediately from that. Solid tackle, no protest from the Dutchman. Here he is again. He adds a, a degree, a badly needed degree of intelligence to the Rangers uh, play outside the penalty area. Berg. Better spell this for Rangers. Rickson can't get round Varga. Seems to have done something to his right leg. I don't think too many... Well, there's a challenge by Baldi, clean as a whistle. And the Dutchman knew it. Well, Celtic, totally superior in midfield, chance after chance, and still can't put the ball away, and that can sometimes be a fatal passage in an old firm game. It's all very well being superior in possession in midfield. You've still got to put it away, and Rangers might grow in confidence, unless Celtic, at the start of the second half, can do something remarkable. Thompson with a free kick. Little touch to the side is needed. A little bit of a mess there. And he has lost and he scored! He's done it again! You cannot surpass this man for the way he can find space in a crowded penalty area. If you watch this again, look at everybody ball watching, everybody. They take their eye off Larson who gets into that space and wallop. That is a touch of class. It is exactly the breakthrough that Celtic needed and quite frankly deserved. A real mess and tangle. And it requires astonishing coolness in this atmosphere, frantic as it is, to finish like that. <laughs> Craig BT about to come on for Celtic with another youngster, Stephen Pearson, going off. He's played exceptionally well, and I think he's been guarded, if you like, Got to be protected, I think. He's still a, a developing player. Now, can Rangers make something of this? They really have been inept up front and pushed aside there by Lennon. Now swept forward, Celtic, and look! Out comes Kloss, suddenly appearing on the scene there. Now, Celtic may think that was a, a foul by the goalkeeper. They're looking at the referee. Now, was he the last line defender? It could be a red card. But it's only a yellow. Well, let's look at this again. Was anybody behind the goalkeeper? Yes, probably Berg, as that contact was made. And the goalkeeper is very fortunate, as Beatty is really walloped. Now, he took a very painful one in his side. There's Thompson with the free kick for that. Well defended that time by De Boer. Celtic still mounting the pressure. Agat trying to race through here. Agat brought down. What's given? Well, the referee just turns away from that. Very strongly, and no, I think that decision was right. Vargo. That's where Rangers cannot get going in midfield like that. They cannot bring the ball down and move it about as Celtic have been doing frequently in this game. 
free kick. Larson, Varga, Thompson. It's Thompson with it. Difficult one for the keeper. Kept his nerve though. Well, Rangers must realize how important a win in this competition is. No chance of winning the league out of the League Cup. A lot of famous rivals are one up at home against them. It does not look good as Larson chases in after this. Larson's still there. And I think it's a free kick, yes. Pulling there by Henrik Larson. Craig Moore going down and the referee right behind that free kick. A gentle word to Henrik Larson about that. Celtic still look more likely to score, and out comes Kloss again. Kloss, who so often has been the savior of Rangers against many teams, including Celtic. Neatly inside. Petrov, lovely little ball to the outside. Celtic and flooding into the box. And all Rangers are doing is popping it into midfield and then losing possession like that again. Lennon, beautiful little ball here. And it's away to the side. Beatty with a great chance. The youngster would have loved to have put that in the back of the net. Almost in the Henrik Larsson position there. He's no Henrik Larsson yet. Well, you win some, you lose some as a manager knows. Ray. That's offside. And yet they couldn't put it in the back of the net. Couple of yards offside. Rangers still trying to use their flanks to little effect. You put the ball up like that. The Celtic defenders, towering defenders will get there. Decent shot though. First time in a game that ball has come forward and tried from that distance. And he has a good left foot. Despair and anguish at that end, as this game is slipping away. Thompson, the substitute. Then it's laid to the side and not hit with conviction by Ray. He simply didn't believe in himself that time. Beautifully set up for him. Seems to try and place it. Rangers' best chance in the game. Silla coming on. Well, I'm sure Beauty didn't like it going off in this game. He'd like to have stayed there to the end. But I don't think he was fully fit after his knock. And it has been a strong physical battle. And the season and the time is slipping away from that man. And indeed, there it goes. Celtic go through to the next round. Rangers are out of the Scottish Cup. The cupboard is bare for Celtic's great rivals, and that is the man who slammed the door on them. Agat played outstandingly well. And the Celtic supporters becoming accustomed to the singing and dancing at their end. What an asset this man has been to this club. An old firm game with a young thief, young Alan Hutton, who scored in his debut for Rangers, plays in his first old firm game. And here is the hero of Barcelona, teenager David Marshall, putting up heroics in a superb defensive display by Celtic. One of the great performances in the history of the club, and much of it down to this young man. He now faces a new test. Well, broad optimistic grin on Alec McLeish's face, wondering, as that support do down there, if this Celtic side will be exhausted from their trials in Barcelona. Both teams 
at full strength for this game. No excuses, no apologies after. And the Celtic supporter brought the Spanish fiesta spirit to a rather grey govern day. It really is multicolour at Ibrox Park. It may not be the sort of thing that this man will uh, let endure for very much longer. Kenny Clark going over to find out how you get rid of beach balls. Not a normal refereeing problem, but you can tell he wants his game started and however colourful, they will have to go. Mark Hughes, an indication of how confident the spirited Celtic support is. And I would imagine, exhausted though they may be later on in this game, the Celtic players will feel just as confident against a Rangers side that has heaped pressure on themselves because of their slack and discipline in defence and being outplayed so often by their great rivals, especially in midfield. Rangers on the attack right away again. There's Baldi! Baldi, who was absent in Barcelona, but is going to be very present in Gubbin. Agat. Lennon giving that uh, typical support of his. Agat getting in a bit of a mess. And Rangers trying to take it down this left-hand side. They cannot get a clean shot in as Hughes tries to go through there. Well, good build-up by Rangers. What Celtic have had over Rangers in the past uh, three seasons is deadly finishing. Rangers looking uh, far too inept at times. Ray complaining to the referee there, yes, he was going up, the elbow was there, and it's a free kick. And these free kicks have always proved uh, dangerous to this Rangers defence, very vulnerable in the air. The usual jostling, Varga up for this, who's coming forward, it's in! Henry Larson! Would you believe so often he gets away from defenders, especially when they've got blue jerseys on and puts it away. Tremendous effort there again by Henrik Larsson, 20 minutes gone. And surely tired limbs and minds will be refreshed by a goal like that. It was a defensive performance in Barcelona, here in Govan. They're on the attack. Yes, he says. Watch the jumping again, right in there. It's all about timing. Well, the Celtic supporter jubilant at the moment. Adding to the pressure on Rangers again. Pearson nipping that back. There's a run forward, there he is again, plays to the outside. Larson. And uh, off the ball there, as that was played away out to the side. A free kick and a, a misjudged tackle that angered this man. There's Pearson, who runs against this Rangers uh, defence in his first couple of games. Have destroyed uh, much of the composure of the Ibrox defence. I think he'll recover from that. It was a very late tackle indeed. One can remember a free kick that Petrov took against this man from about that length, which Klaus let slip into the net. Might be thinking of it again. It's curled round the side. Alan Thompson. There's the dummy run, and there it's swept across. Tries to curl at it. Ball. Petrov with him, good run by Ball. Can't get the finish, and that was almost an own goal. I think Marshall may have got a touch. And inadvertently, that was Rangers' uh, best effort of the game. There's Ray. There's a the little and a dad brilliantly saved. Well, I think this young man is showing that that was no freak and one-off performance in Barcelona. There's the evidence of it. 
immense judgment there. But watch this one. No more difficult chance of the ball bouncing like that. And there's a beautiful ball played across. Who's there? It's De Boer! And what Rangers lack is that icy cool composure that Celtic have at the other end. And this is an example. Still a powerful battle in midfield. De Boer trying to get that away, and he does. There's a better run forward. Here's Moles, and just pass. Well, that's one of Rangers' best moves of the game. A sweeping move that stretched that Celtic defence. But again, off target. Rangers finishing really has been woeful. Still getting that ball through, and that's put back by De Boer. There's Moles and Robin Kranz. Again, Asof and Rangers lacking conviction and the killer touch in the penalty area. The Danish international, I think, knew that that was going to be covered. Good play by Moles to set him up. Yes, he knew that was a great chance. Ray. Celtic on the break. Popped up there by Ray again. Hughes. Now ball. That's a decent ball into the middle. They don't have a big man up there. Moles again. Moles playing probably his last season. Here's a young fullback. Hutton with a chance. Not a bad effort. While the young players have performed splendidly, we've seen Marshall at one end with his gymnastics and goal. And now the young Rangers fullback with a touch of aggression badly needed by this Rangers side. Hooked away. There by Gat. Watch the run. Pearson chasing after this. Kishanis Phillies gives it away again. Well, here's a great chance for Pearson. Now Thompson. There it is. That should put it beyond any doubt at all. Alan Thompson. And that is the classic difference between the two sides. Give Celtic half a chance like this. And they'll put it away. Good save by Klaus initially, but look at the way he swept it in. And with his weaker foot, all he does is prod it in. And that's the second time I've seen him score a goal with his right foot at Ibrox Park. Here it comes. Taking it one way. And then the little chip. Celtic in seventh heaven at the moment. There was always a fear, and that was a bad tackle. There's a card out there for Moore, and uh, Neil Lennon should get out of it. The referee is taking control. He's exerted his authority. And the Rangers fan is booked. And no wonder. He's done with a broad spot on his face. And I think the Celtic uh, players know this game is won and the league title is emphatically theirs. Is there any last gasp in the Cybrook side? In goes Petrov into the box for this. Thompson with it! How did that stay out? Robin Kranz tried to get away with it. Well, that was miraculous. It seemed like that would end up in the back of the net. Off the underside. Once again, that marvellous left foot causing all the damage, and it was Varga just getting underneath the ball. Turmoil in defence, as we've seen so often. Pearson forward here, Sutton, can he put it away? 
Great save again. Well, it could have been four or five by now, but for the German international goalkeeper. Rangers two behind, it could have been well, well won by Celtic by this stage. So I suppose there is a slender thread, even yet, for the Cybrook side. Off comes Lobenkrantz. And I think he'll be replaced by Stephen Thompson. Doesn't seem too happy about it, but on comes the ex the United player. Strong trying to get going, Buck comes in there. There's Moles! Still can't put it away, good effort there. Certainly the younger players, as I said, like uh, David Marshall, and now Buck is on for Rangers. And doing very well on that right wing. But here he is, popping up on the left. That's a decent ball inside! Well, this is a better phase for Rangers, there's no question about that. But methinks they've left it late. Moles with that chance. Again, they have no cutting edge. One of the best chances of the match. Lennon in that secure position as Rangers try to mount attack after attack near the end of the game. And that'll be a corner kick. Now we have Sutton back in defence, which he does very competently and professionally, of course. Quite accustomed to playing in centre defence when required. There's a corner. Up it goes. Celtic finding it difficult to get out of a siege at the moment. Buck again. That'll be another corner kick. Rangers two behind, but still storming into the attack. Chris Buck with it again. And it is Thompson! And would you believe... He scores the first goal of the season for Rangers against Celtic. But as I said, I think it's come far too late for that support, for any jubilation. He makes it 2-1. And Celtic have been playing competently, but that time, for the first time this season, he outjumps that defence. A little chance now for the Rangers to get at least a draw out of this game. Once again, the free kick. Flick to the side, here's the break by Celtic. Just touched away, though, by Ray. And it goes to that side, and it's flicked over the bar. Trying so hard to get it up. It was Ball using his right foot, not his strongest foot, to try to flick that away. Marshall was close to him, though. The young goalkeeper getting out courageously. And there goes the final whistle. That's it. They know the title is theirs. They fought hard for it. They've come back from Barcelona with pressure on them. They must feel exhausted now. But when you get a victory against your famous rivals, especially when you're playing them at home, then there's nothing that lifts the spirits better. And Larsen, of course, set the seal on it with that goal in the 20th minute. Mr. Magic. Enjoying the jubilation that's pouring out of the Celtic end at Ibrooks Park. The other goal scorer, Alan Thompson. A tremendous performance by Celtic. And they really have exerted once again the superiority over their old rivals, even though Stephen Thompson there did get a consolation. Yeah, I was obviously uh, had a bit of confidence coming into the game because of their performance in Barcelona. So uh, we took that in the game and 
again, the team was absolutely brilliant coming back. To, obviously, tiredness played a part in the end there, but we got through it in the end. Definitely, the fans obviously the beach balls and that for, <laughs> for Spain again, so it was uh, it's great for them. Obviously, they're getting into Europe more often as well, so it's and to come here years ago, we're only getting any results at Ibrox, so to win here again is fantastic for them. There's no such thing as a meaningless old firm game. This is the fifth and final one of the season. That's the lineups Marshall, Varga, Baldi, McNamara, Agat, Lennon, Petrov, Pearson, Thompson, Larson, and Sutton for Celtic. The Rangers, a victory today is essential for pride, if nothing else, and for Celtic, it would mean an incredible five victories in this campaign. Six consecutive old firm victories, and that hasn't been done since 1972 73. Packed Celtic Park as always, just under 59,000 because of the segregation here. The match is underway. Hugh Dallas. Celtic attacking the traditional Rangers end of the ground. Laid on for Larson. Challenge from the back from Rickson. The referee saw nothing wrong with that. The ball intercepted again by Lennon. Back to Larson. Left for Diddy. A gap on the right hand side. He likes to. Burst forward, opts to knock it back this time though. Three kicks been given, Frank De Boer complaining, taken quickly from Sutton, and I think the whistle's gone just too quickly for the for the liking of Hugh Dallas. Play is coming back. Frank De Boer and uh, the referee arguing the point. I think that was fairly apparent. Thompson off the wall this time. Scored from a similar distance in January. And the ball back over into the Celtic half. Jackie McNamara outstanding in Celtic colours this season. Brings it back to the halfway line. Switches to the right-hand side. Now let's see what Agat can do. Diri Agat gets down, gets towards the byline and he's pulled back. Assistant referee in, in close proximity agreed. Paolo Vanoli, the culprit. Left footed ball from Thompson. And it's turned in by Stan Varga. But it won't count. It won't count. Varga has a wry smile. Hugh Dallas noticed some infringement, perhaps a, a pull by the tall defender as he back heeled it past Stefan Kloss. Celtic fans' celebrations were short-lived. Tugging a jersey, I think, there. Both sides still looking for, a, for an opening in the final Old Firm match of the season. Larson, with his back to goal, is taken out of the game. Another free kick opportunity taken quickly and smothered by Kloss. Great vision from the Swede and how much will his services be missed next year by that man? Larson again, lay off, Pearson taken late. Frank De Boer this time. A more dangerous position, six-man Rangers wall. Stefan Kloss charged with keeping this one out, arguably Rangers' best player this past season. Larson's there, Thompson's there. Larson steps up, a low one, no power in that, no trouble for the German. Celtic charging forward again, Diri Agat into the box. Bad clearance, chested down by Petrov, he's 16 yards from goal, just outside the penalty box now, and it goes, head flick from Larson on the line, and a great save from Stefan Kloss. Referee allowed play on there. And there may have been an, an occasion where the goalkeeper was given the benefit of the doubt, but Sutton was allowed to make that challenge.
Celtic defending momentarily. Ball into the penalty box. Laid down for Michael Malls. Off for Hughes and just over the bar. Stephen Hughes nearly made the difference there. Took a deflection on the way out from Stylian Petrov. Lennon and Fernando Rickson and Lennon complaining bitterly to referee Hugh Dallas that it was caught in the shin there, I think. Bad challenge from the Dutchman. Plenty of passion for Mando Rickson. Free kick goes Rangers' way. Thompson picks it up at the edge of his own penalty area and it's given away. Played the ball, said the referee. Bricks to Hughes again. And just too high once again from Stephen Hughes. He's having a go though. And again, it takes the deflection, Bobo Baldi this time. Mikel Arteta. Last save from David Marshall, what a fantastic save there. And it's fallen to Jackie McNamara. And Larson has it on the halfway line. David Marshall, the hero for Celtic this season. Not for the first occasion, a fingertip save there. Frank De Boer's header. And that was goal-bound. Rangers still pressing forward, looking for the opening. Michael Moles, and again... Marshall there. Fumbled the first one. Did enough, though, to put Stephen Thompson off. Good play from Moles. Turns away from Stan Varga. A curling shot, which Marshall found difficult to hold. Hughes back through for Rickson. Moles in some space, and that had to be a timely challenge from Bobo Baldi, and was. No question here he had to play the ball. No complaints from Moles either. Ball in again, McNamara clears it. Hughes heads it back into the Celtic penalty area. McNamara once again knocks it back out. The free kick has gone against Stephen Pearson for a foul on Rickson, and now him and Hutton are getting involved. Hugh Dallas reminding everybody who's in charge. It's the initial challenge on Rickson. Deep one to the back post, headed clear. Away for a Celtic corner kick. Time not on Celtic's side now. Thompson. Left-footed ball in. And just past the post. Varga and Baldi were both there. Might even been a blue jersey that turned that one behind. On the attack again. Fingertip save, no real threat there from Celtic. From Stylian Petrov. He had some options though. Corner comes in, punch clear by Stefan Kloss. And the decision does go the goalkeeper's way on this occasion, and Kloss is in some trouble here. Andy Watson and Alec McLeish just look on. Ball back through again. Larson has got options behind him, cross the face of goal, and Petrov into the side netting. And that was arguably Celtic's best chance of this match so far. Larson crossed the face of the goal, and Petrov unmarked at the back post. Could only find the side netting. Larson. Attacking the penalty box again, gets away from Kazanishvili, deep ball, Petrov chests it down and goes to ground, looking for a penalty kick, I fear. Nothing from Hugh Dallas. Good control from the Bulgarian initially, and then went to ground, perhaps too easily. Free kick in. 
Lennon finds Diddy Agat. He's on a race here with Stephen Hughes. It's a no contest so far. Agat charging towards the, the penalty area. Still Diddy Agat, and he decides to go for the shot. And that, I have to say, was the wrong call. Henrik Larsson is absolutely furious. He was all alone inside the 18-yard box. Agat opted for the shot. Thompson was there as well. He's screaming too at the Frenchman. Could have been Celtic's best chance of the match. Pearson. Out to Diri Agat again. Decides to play it in this time. Cleared. Headed back into the danger area. And a half shot from Chris Sutton. He knows he might have done better on that occasion. Contact wasn't great. McNamara through the centre circle to Lennon. Agat's on his right. Box into the penalty box. And Sutton's unmarked. And that was another fantastic save from Stefan Kloss. Sutton was all alone there where the Rangers defend were. You could only guess that. Fingertip save over the bar. Keeps Rangers in this match. Petrov's corner. Punch clear again from Stefan Kloss. Henrik Larsson looks to the sky. He wriggled away from Frank de Boer. Powerful jump from the Swede again. Corner comes in. Cleared. Kazanishvili back to Alan Thompson. Takes a second touch and Larsson again. And it's held by Stefan Kloss. The Celtic fans behind that goal think it crossed the line. No real complaints from the Celtic players, though. Our Rangers on the attack at the moment. It's back with David Marshall at the other end, but we'll see it again now. Larson's header goes towards Claus, and the hole of the ball, I think, was not over the line. So a good call from Hugh Dallas. Just held, just kept out by Claus. Stephen Pearson makes way for Aidan McGeady, scored in his debut. Tyne Castle a couple of weeks ago. Big, big day for the young Irishman. Corner kick comes in. Nobody there. Sutton again on the end of that. Kill Arteta at the back post. I suspect he wouldn't have known too much about that. Rangers pressing forward. Ball across the deck and an unusual header that time from Bobo Baldi. Agat, back into the Rangers half, Sutton ahead of him, Thompson to his left, wide left it goes, Aidan Maggedi has it at the apex of the penalty box, Maggedi! And he wouldn't want to see that one again. Into the Celtic box it goes, and Thompson there, just ahead of David Marshall. Never took his eye off the ball, Stephen Thompson. Never made the right contact either, or Marshall would have been beaten on that occasion, I'm sure. Scored in the last old film game. Larson lays it off to Chris Sutton. Sutton looks up, makes some space, and it's a goal! In the 92nd minute at Celtic Park, in the last old film game of the season, Chris Sutton has given Celtic a lead and there's no way back now for Rangers. Your beauty indeed. The Celtic fans go absolutely wild, as does Martin O'Neill and John Robertson. They can't believe their luck. The pressured Rangers from almost the first ball. Marshall started this. McNamara got a head flick, cushioned down by Larson into the path of Chris Sutton. He shrugged off. Frank de Boer and lobbed Stefan Kloss, a delightful chip over the German keeper. He's been sensational all afternoon, and in it goes. And that surely means that Celtic will win their fifth Old Firm game of the season, six in total. Chris Sutton, the hero of the hour, a candidate for 
player of the season like so many of the Celtic players this year, Neil Lennon and Jackie McNamara in there as well. And the final whistle. We expect any second now from Hugh Dallas. It's been an eventful afternoon. There's been no love lost as always. Hugh Dallas looks at his watch once more. And the final whistle goes. And Celtic have made it six in a row against Rangers. And they're on course now for clinching a domestic double. Disastrous season for Alec McLeish's side, no doubt about that. Martin O'Neill offers handshakes to the Rangers bench. He goes on to congratulate his players, that's the hero of the hour. Chris Sutton, an injury time winner. Rickson and Paul, the substitute, get involved with one another, which shows you the discontent to I in this past season. Rickson been escorted off. Martin O'Neill takes the applause this huge Celtic crowd and offers congratulations once more around Stan Varga there. Different second season at Celtic for him as well. Did he uh, get? And the Celtic fans will savour this moment. For the rest of this weekend and beyond. And it's finished here at Celtic Park. Celtic 1, Rangers 0. It was overwhelming, Margot. We, we were absolutely superb. Second half, chance after chance after chance after chance. Excuse me, I never thought it was going to come. And then the one thing you didn't want to do, you didn't want to lose the game. They put one into the penalty box with a couple of minutes to go and um, we were a bit hesitant and it went pa past the post. Um, and that's the only chance I, I can remember them in the second half. We've had maybe seven, eight. And eventually, you know... Um, the game was won by an absolutely wonderful goal.